John Fung had a student one time, a nun who had one disease after another. And he told her to use the breath as her daily check-in, daily check-up. Go through the body, see where the breath was good, where it wasn't good, and basically give the body a treatment. And the same principle applies to the mind. We have all kinds of potentials for illnesses in the mind, all kinds of germs going around. And so you have to make sure that your resistance is good. You have to make sure that the body, the body and the mind are both in good shape. But particularly the mind, that's what really matters the most, because it's the mind that makes the decisions. And if it makes poor decisions, everybody suffers. So look into the health of the mind, which, which parts of the mind are looking inflamed. Is there any greed, aversion, delusion? fear, jealousy, any of these things. You use the breath and use the centeredness of the mind to give yourself a good foundation so you can look at these things and understand them. When you understand them, they have a lot less power over the mind. It's because they sneak in when we're not paying attention. That's how they take over. So the more all, the more all around your awareness, the more likely you are to notice what's coming in and be able to do something about it. So every time you meditate, tell yourself you're checking in on the body, giving yourself a physical checkup, and you're giving the mind a checkup as well. Then as you soothe everything with the breath, it's not only the body that gets breath <coughs> soothed by the breath, the mind gets soothed by the breath as well. They're much more likely to be healthy, much more likely to be able to withstand any germs that come their way, either physical germs or mental germs. So think of this as a treatment for the body and for the mind. You were caring for the illnesses of the body and the mind. After all, the Buddha was, as he said, a doctor, treating the diseases of the mind. And he's not here anymore, but the Dharma is here, and you can use this Dharma as the medicine. You can be the doctor now. And look after yourself with as much skill and patience as you can muster. <laughs>